The Bray Wyatt Becoming Immortal documentary was revealed earlier today by WWE coming to Peacock April 1st. This is a behind-the-scenes look at Wyndham Rotunda that we've never seen before. I am so excited for this, but I guarantee a lot of tissues will be used that day. Fans were quick to spot in the trailer of this a new version of The Fiend that we've never seen before. We don't know if this was something that's just never been used or something Bray intended to return in. Jason Baker will be in this documentary, though, so I'm very sure we're going to get the answers during it. We know in another trailer, Alexa Bliss was interviewed and she will give her thoughts during this documentary too, as well as Bray's brother, Bo. Bo Dallas narrated one of the trailers very interestingly at the end said, he's not gone. His ideas will live on forever. A lot of fans hoping that means that Bo may continue the legacy of his brother in some way. But this will be unlike anything we've seen before. A behind the scenes look at the creation of the character and the ideas among the Fiend and the Funhouse. It's going to be revealing. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be sad. But it's something I think a lot of us have wanted to see for a long time. And wow, the reaction tonight, the cheers when they announced this at Raw, and of course the Fireflies with Bray Wyatt's theme song playing. Just absolute scenes that I love to see. This is Things You Might Have Missed from WWE Raw. Make sure you hit the like button, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button too. CM Punk was shown on screen today, obviously doing his workout, doing his recovery on his path back to WWE. He actually said WrestleMania is in Philly. The first four letters of Philly is Phil. Therefore, you can't have WrestleMania in Philly without him. And Raw is in Chicago next week. And so will CM Punk be. CM Punk returns to Raw. But there was something in this promo that's got everybody talking. And it's the fact CM Punk is wearing an Avengers t-shirt. This is big because a lot of people have likened the Cody bloodline story to the Avengers Endgame. And if that's what we're going for, is this an Easter egg that CM Punk is going to be on Team Cody? Matt Hardy was at Monday Night Raw tonight, not on camera. He was up in a box with his wife, Rebby. Rebby posted it to TikTok. Very interesting because there's a lot of news about his AEW contract coming up. Is Matt Hardy ready to return to WWE? Jimmy and Jay face to face is what kicked off Monday Night Raw this week. Love the fact that someone had a cool Rikishi sign front and center of this. But nonetheless, this was epic. Jimmy Uso would take credit for the biggest moment in Jay's career. Jay would fire back saying, no, the biggest moment in my career will be having my dream match against my brother at WrestleMania. Things look bleak for Jay as Solo and Jimmy started the attack until Cody Rhodes would come out and make the save. Question. Serious question. Could all of this be a setup? I know that's a really out there idea, okay? They're talking about Jay leaving the bloodline, getting back to that story all over again. Is it possible that all of this was done to eventually screw Cody in his rematch again? Jay turning on Cody? Is that a possibility? Well, Cody arrived at the arena tonight with his dog, Pharaoh, wearing Rock is a cat. I love that a dog is firing back on the Rock. Brilliant. And Cody would fire back in the ring as well. Cody Rhodes responding to the Rock tonight, even going as far as to say he doesn't know at WrestleMania if he'll finish his story. But this is Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes obviously was ready to turn everything around until Paul Heyman would emerge with a deal for Cody Rhodes. He said that the tribal chief is a man of his word. And on Friday Night Smackdown, when Cody and Roman go face to face, Roman will show up alone if Cody shows up alone. Cody would make the deal, but look at the smirk on Paul Heyman's face. This has to be some kind of trap. Now, is Roman not a man of his word? Is the bloodline going to show up? Is someone who's currently not in the bloodline about to show up on SmackDown? Oh my God. Poor Cody. Following last week when Candice would have a go at Maxine Dupree, it was Candice and Indy in tag action against Caden and Katana tonight. And Candice, well, Katana Chance got injured. She hurt her knee, I'm sure that's a work. But the referee was checking on her. And of course, Candice LeRae would take advantage. Jumping straight in to attack Katana and get the submission tap-out victory. 
on an injured Katana Chance. The huge talking point here, though, is Indy Hartwell. Indy did not look happy about this. Indy did not look like she agreed with the decisions Candice made. Sammy and Gunther, they signed the contract tonight. The IC title match at Mania is official. It won't be a triple threat. We saw Chad backstage with Sami Zayn. Sami using this segment to kind of establish what it means to him. Talking about how he's got kids that cry when he doesn't win as well. Gunther also agreed with Chad Gable. Sami Zayn cannot beat him at WrestleMania. Sami was very fired up and walked away. I love this transition, by the way. Sami walking to the back. The camera followed him all the way through gorilla position till we found Regeneration X, I suppose. And then, of course, we'd have Awesome Truth make their entrance. Still with the same camera. Very cool. Although Miz rapping, not so much cool. Awesome Truth would go on to defeat Indashir. Obviously, that means Miz and our truth qualify for the ladder match at WrestleMania. The Creed brothers emerged tonight with a brand new theme song. I've got to admit, I wasn't a fan of it. It did feel very bland. I love their new logo, like the Olympic torch and everything. It looks really, really class. But, my God, did they win the audience over. What a match between DIY and the Creed brothers. I also love Julius Creed celebrating with Pat McAfee. It's these little things that just make the audience giggle. Just that smile on the face is what people remember. Also, this move, just very simple, very effective. Just throwing DIY into each other. But it would be DIY that emerged the victors. They're going to WrestleMania's ladder match. New Day would also qualify by defeating the Alpha Academy. New Day taking the final spot from Monday Night Raw. The final two teams will be decided from the brackets on SmackDown. PW Insider reported earlier today that Raquel Rodriguez has been taken off of the active WWE roster. We know Raquel's been going through a lot recently. And I just want to share my thoughts and my prayers are with her. Because she's gone through a lot and I hope she's back in WWE soon. Ricochet would defeat Dominic Mysterio tonight. Obviously after the match they set up, obviously JD was there with Dom and they set it up for next week. And it was made official later on. Ricochet versus JD next week. Got to point out Drew McIntyre's new shirt is freaking awesome. I do like that. Save your WrestleMania. Oh, I do like this segment between Seth and Drew. Seth coming out, interrupting the entrance of Drew McIntyre, stealing his spotlight is exactly what this story needed. I love all the little digs that Drew took at CM Punk during the promo. I love Seth's passion that came out. And I just think this is a really good story. When you consider this was meant to be CM Punk and they've pivoted here and they're making it great, awesome. You know when Liv Morgan says, watch me, I promise you everyone was watching her tonight as everything warmed up for the huge main event between Nia and Becky, last woman standing, some very unique offense in this match, as expected. It would be a thunderous manhandle slam from the apron through a table that Nia would stand up from and then a leg drop through the announce table from a ladder that would allow Becky Lynch to put away Nia Jax tonight, which would then see Rhea Ripley emerge and Rhea would just simply laugh at Becky Lynch. Obviously, Rhea's made her thoughts clear about this. Becky's putting herself through hell for what? Becky, though, getting straight into the face of Rhea, despite the war she just went through. Very fun Raw. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the Creeds versus DIY was match of the night for me. Very fun indeed. 8 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the notification bell. Like the video. Share the video. And I'll catch you next time. Peace!